Welcome to Creep Mode Baby, Episode 2, Cracking Yale TSA Clip on Combination Locks. These are TSA approved locks and reasonably hard to crack by feel although once the first key is found the second and third are trivial. I have been able to crack them successfully on the first try 40% of the time and have a 100% success rate in under 4 attempts. To begin, hold the lock as I am doing, with your thumb applying pressure to the shackle, index finger on the opposite side providing support for your thumb, and middle finger just lightly on the keyhole. You will be sensing movement and snags mostly on your index finger. Next ensure all keys are set halfway between key 0 and 1, then start rotating one as freely as possible. Perform a few spins to ensure you're spinning the key evenly. If you notice the key snags at a certain point stop and take note of the key. If you are unsure or feel more than one snag perform the same technique again but start by setting the key between 5 and 6. This will help to rule out any biases you might be imagining. If the combination snags on the same key as before you're doing it right. Now set the first key you found and move on to another, repeating the same process. If the first key is correct the snagging on the second key is more noticeable although the snag will still occur even with the first key incorrect. Once you think you have the second key move on to the third, applying the same pressure with your thumb the lock will simply give way when the right combination is found. If you cycle through all possible keys repeat the original process on the third key and again on the other keys, always anticipating that the next key is your last. From what I understand setting the keys halfway between two keys is useful as it loosens your senses and thoughts about the correct key, helping you focus on touch and feel rather than a preconceived combination. From myself and the Creep Mode Baby team, thanks for watching.